and then we vanish, like we have a hundred times before. I have passports for the both of us. We will raise this baby, you and me. I side 100% with Cassandra in this situation. She should try everything she possibly could to get her daughter out of this situation. If you saw the previous episode or the prologue before this one, you can tell that Franklin has become unhinged of sorts. He's not completely out of his mind, but he'll do whatever he needs to do to get his money back. But as you can tell from the conversation between her and her daughter Veronique, and I, I swear I'm butchering that name, uh, her daughter is very skeptical and she has no intentions of leaving Franklin. But we'll deal with the passport part first. Check it out. Since when? Since when do you have passports for us? Since the moment you told me what you were involved in here. Did you think for a second that I'd agree to any of this without an exit plan? And I believe that 110%. They were going after Teddy, who used to be in the CIA, and trying to steal back $70 million. Of course, she should have an exit strategy, and they all should. She's probably the smartest one um, that I've come across so far in this show. But her daughter believes that the only reason she was helping her and Franklin is because she was trying to get her daughter out and back into her life. Which is not a bad reason to do it, but that's just what her daughter thinks. Take a listen. This is what you wanted from the start. Why you came here, why you agreed to all- You this. called me, and I came. Because you are my daughter and I love you. So now get to the piece with Franklin. I could already tell just from previous episodes that the mom didn't really like Franklin very much and Franklin is really skeptical about the mother too. But we can tell just from this interaction with her daughter that she does not like Franklin. Watch. Because you are my daughter and I love you. Unlike that man in there who will sell you out in a second. But you'll condemn your child to death. Or prison. Life with a monster. He's not a monster. See what I mean? The mom believes that Franklin doesn't love her daughter. And I'm kind of skeptical about that too. Would Franklin give up all the money for her? I don't think so. Franklin is all about the cash at this point. So I could definitely feel some tension in their scene when Franklin comes back. Um, so he asks V if she wants to leave with the mom and here's her response. Is that what you want, V? No. No, it isn't. I believe that this is a huge mistake that V is making. She is pregnant. She needs to take that baby and run. Whatever money they have, get out of there and let Franklin know where she is if she really loves him and wants to be with him and he can join her later just like the mom says. A prison. Life with a monster. He's not a monster. And that statement right there when she called him a monster to his face, that worried me a little bit because I know Franklin can be a monster. He can kill and will kill in cold blood. So I was a little bit worried about the mom but I think the only thing that saved her was the fact that uh, the daughter was there. And I think it's interesting that the daughter continued on and she addressed the monster issue. Take a listen. Not to me. To me, he's a man who hasn't lied or raised a hand or left me alone in a prison cell. He's the first person to ever put me first. So we can all assume that these are the things that her mom has done to her. Lied, raised her hand to her, left her in a prison. Um, so her mom has been a monster to her in her life, and that was that's what she equates to being a monster. But Franklin hasn't done any of those things to her yet. Yet. He's doing everything in his power to deliver the life I want. No matter how he has to do it. Until that changes, mother. I'm staying. And there you have it. The truth. She's going to stay with Franklin because Franklin is delivering to her the life that she wants. Also, she is in love with Franklin. You can tell this. She's willing to stand by his side through thick and thin, good or bad. He lost $70 million. She didn't care. She stayed with him. And I thought this part was cold. As Franklin walks up to her to grab V's bag, he kind of gives the mom a look. That look is a look of disapproval. That look is a look of, I don't ever want to see you again. That was a really intense scene. 
So what do you guys think? Did V make a mistake staying with Franklin? Is she going to die, her and her baby? Let me know in the comment section below.